So, Gita. Your name is Gita? Yes. How would you pronounce Lance it? my name, Gita. I am coming from India. <laughs> <laughs> So from nothing to the movement. So this is movement and this is nothing and God is in between. So our whole journey of life is to come from nothing to the dynamic movement and return to the nothingness. So there are lots of stories in the world, isn't it? And I'm so happy because I love speaking and talking as you can see. So I tell stories, I collect stories, I research into the stories. And so I am a story teller. Wonderful, isn't it? When we say we want to do a workshop for storytelling, and they say, storytelling? Telling a story, even we tell stories. We don't want a workshop for that. <laughs> yes, so it had to be a very difficult process when we went to, the, to all the schools. So we went to the row and told them, we will do a free workshop. And if you don't like it, then we go away. But if you like it, please call us again. Ah. And he came, where would the crocodile be? Oh. Near the water. So he came to the water because he was very hungry. Ah, very hungry. Just then. There came a hen, okay? So this hen came to drink water. water. Ah. So he came the other hen. And the hen suddenly, Hey brother, don't eat me.
uh, we are passing through uh, the phase where they are trying to stand up on the ground and trying to build this, make this pillar of storytelling very simple. <coughs> Kata is a house, uh, stories and Arya is a house. So a house of stories, Kathalaya. And we trained a lot of teachers. So we registered it in 1998. And we started not only stories for children, but we started going every week into the school and we made storytelling as a period in the schools. So far we've trained about nearly 59,000 teachers and parents in this profession. It is the organization that we have is can we tell a lot of stories directly and transmit the emotional part of storytelling to the <laughs> Who am I? Yes. Is important to you or even to Indian Indians. culture? It's, it's, it's very important to Indian culture. Yeah. Because we are always reminded of what you are doing and who you are. And so it's very important to give than to get. So giving is very, very important. Giving not materially only, but giving from our hearts. So that we are taught to the children that when you give, there is a sense of joy. When you give, there is a sense of happiness. Because it's not important whether the story is true or false. No. And it's not important whether there was a demon who existed or not. The ultimate question is, what is that within you that you are going to solve? How I manage my life? How I am going to be no, not a burden to anybody but to be able to live a fruitful life? So every now and then we are coming back to what is the purpose of your life? Thank you very much. <laughs> we have only heard a little drop of an ocean of stories and, and, and uh, wisdom from <laughs> India. Okay, thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you very much.